This is an issue that affects the health. Well, there's been much talk about health care reform. A candid look at the health situation in America shows that no legislation being passed is going to help fix this problem. I'm sure you've used one of these before. It works great for keeping dirt out of minor cuts and scrapes, but it's absolutely worthless when it comes to a broken bone. It's important to use the right tool for the job. Right now, there are 81 million Americans suffering from cardiovascular disease, and over 831,000 die each year. The financial toll of this disease reaches 503 billion each year. And yet, with the right tools, the elimination of this disease could begin today with no cost to taxpayers. Hi, I'm Lee Folkman, and today we're going to talk about the world's number one killer. First, we're going to take a look at this terrible disease, and then we're going to see how a plant-based diet is the right tool to fix this far-reaching problem. This is a normal artery, and next to it is an artery with a buildup of plaque. Plaque is a mixture mostly of cholesterol and saturated fat. When we eat foods that are high in saturated fat and cholesterol, these plaques build up more and more until the arteries become narrow and hard. This is a condition called atherosclerosis. When plaque forms on the arterial wall, the body reacts by covering it with a layer of cells. This layer prevents blood from coming into contact with the plaque. If the cell layer ruptures and blood comes into contact with the plaque, a clot forms. A clot that travels through the bloodstream and gets lodged in an artery feeding the heart can cause a heart attack. Likewise, if it gets lodged in the brain, it can cause a stroke. Risk of death from cardiovascular disease increases when blood cholesterol levels are greater than 150 milligrams per deciliter. The goal is to stay below that level. Although there are many other factors that are involved in cardiovascular disease, this presentation will only focus on dietary factors affecting cholesterol levels. Though cholesterol is necessary for life, your body makes all the cholesterol that it needs and it really doesn't need your help. Consuming cholesterol, of course, raises cholesterol levels. But there is something even more dangerous about dietary cholesterol. When cholesterol becomes exposed to oxygen, it can become oxidized. And oxidized cholesterol causes extensive damage to your arteries. And this will greatly accelerate the development and buildup of plaque. One study discovered that chickens fed cholesterol developed high blood cholesterol and atherosclerosis. While chickens given hormones to raise cholesterol to similarly high levels had almost no plaque buildup. The body's own cholesterol wasn't oxidized and therefore did not cause the damage dietary cholesterol can cause. Staying away from dietary cholesterol is a must in the fight against cardiovascular disease. It's also important to eat the right proteins. Take a look at this study. Over 100 rabbits were fed a low-fat, cholesterol-free diet, and to their diet was added a protein, either from a plant source or an animal source. Here are the results of four weeks of this diet. The average cholesterol level for those rabbits receiving plant protein was 67, and the highest level was only 96. The average cholesterol level for those receiving animal proteins was 175 and the highest cholesterol level from animal protein was 270 which was the protein from egg yolks. In fact eggs, milk, and cheese were among the highest cholesterol raising proteins. Animal protein raises cholesterol levels even when there is no cholesterol in the diet. However, Animal products do contain cholesterol, so that is a double blow. Simply switching to a plant-based diet can have a significant impact upon your cholesterol levels. For example, those who have switched from skim milk to soy milk lowered their cholesterol between 60 to 80 points in as little as three weeks. So how effective is this plant-based diet against cardiovascular disease? Here's a study that shows how. The Adventist Health Study 
involved 27,000 Seventh-day Adventists. One area studied was how certain dietary choices affected the risk of death from a heart attack. Since Seventh-day Adventists don't drink or smoke, the study compared them to the population who did. Here are the results. Seventh-day Adventists who ate meat and dairy products had a little over half the risk compared to the population who ate meat and dairy and also smoked cigarettes. Seventh-day Adventists who didn't eat meat but used dairy products reduced their risk an additional 17%. Finally, those who ate no animal products at all had only a 14% risk of death from a heart attack and some of those may have been previous users of animal products. As you can see, the optimal diet to both prevent and cure heart disease is a diet based on fruits, nuts, legumes, vegetables, and grains. Although more could be said, simply switching to a plant-based diet will put you on the path to freedom from cardiovascular disease. Why focus on expensive medical care when you can focus on the cure? A healthy lifestyle is the best health insurance that anyone can have. Don't be a statistic. Take charge of your health.